Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another stock pick of the day. Today we are going to cover Intel. It is a information technology stock. Let's jump right into the video. You may have actually seen Intel. If you uh, have a computer issued by a company, a lot of times that is the HP and you'll see Intel inside on it. That is the company we are looking at. So let's jump right in. And if you want to know more Want to know more about them? Check them out at their homepage, www.intel.com. I know I've covered this stock maybe a few months back. Uh, here are a lot of the products that they cover. Processors, system devices, server products, programmable devices, ASICs, chipsets, GPUs, graphic processing units, memory and storage, wireless products, network communications. So everything to do with computers and computer-associated equipment. Again, check them out at www.intel.com if you want to know more. Now, we will jump over to why we are looking at them today. They were down 3.11% on the day. We are talking about Intel Corporation, ticker INTC, out of the information technology sector. Closed the day out uh, November 21st at $28.94. Looks like they're up slightly in the after hours here, $28.97. I know I bought about 24 shares of Intel last week around this same price 52 week range as low as $24.52 or 59 cents as high as $56.28 definitely closer to that 52 week low and I would love it for it to get back to this 52 week low here and pick up more shares even cheaper than I have been average volume 42.76 today was 34.5 or 35.9 definitely some selling today you can see that drop off in the price it's like it uh, opened the day at 29.66, as we can see, closed at 28.94. Market cap of 119.435 billion, a beta of 0.73, so a little less volatile than the overall market. PE ratio is extremely low at 8.96. Earnings per share at $3.23. Next earning date coming up January 24th through January 30th. They will announce it somewhere in that time range. And the forward dividend is $1.46 paid out on the year. They do pay out quarterly, so divide by four. You'll see later exactly what their payout is. And they have a nice dividend yield at 4.89%. I actually think it's creeping closer to 5% here. X dividend date was November 4th, so that has passed. You would not get the next dividend. You would have to wait for the following to be paid out. And according to Yahoo Finance, where I pulled this information from, they have a one-year target estimate of $31.59. So speaks to a little bit of upside appreciation over the next year in stock price. I'm not affiliated with Yahoo Finance, just where I like to pull some information. And I always recommend to pull from more than one source. So let's go look at another source real quick. And we'll jump over and look at stockanalysis.com and the 47 stock analysts that they have had take a look at this. That's quite a few analysts. They actually call it a consensus hold, right? So they're saying if it's in your portfolio now, don't add any more, just hold it. Uh, personally, I've been adding myself. They do have a, this is probably why, they do have a low estimate of $18.18, .18, which would be a 37.18% decrease in stock price. And boy, I would love it. This would be a new all-time 52-week low. I would uh, love it to drop down to these prices. I would probably really build out the position that I have at these cheaper prices. They have an average estimate of $32.87, which would be a 13.58% increase in stock price from where it currently sits. And if it happened to hit their high $75.60, that would be a 161.23% increase in stock price for Intel. All the while, you could collect that nearly 5% dividend yield, depending on where you bought it. You watched it and got a little lower than where it currently sits, maybe even higher than 5% dividend yield. And again, this information is brought to you by stockanalysis.com, another site I'm not affiliated with, just somewhere I like to look at for information. And again, I always recommend going to more than one site to look for information. Make sure that you can validate by multiple sources. And this is where I show you my position. So Intel Corporation, I do own currently 90 shares of Intel Corporation. My cost basis is $27.88, so a little lower than where it currently sits. I'm up 3.78% on my position. I have $2,509.64 into this position. It is worth $2,605.05, so up $95 and some change. Uh, not as concerned with it. Actually, like I said, if this was red, I would be smiling from ear to ear as I added more 
I just think Intel is it going to be doing well in the future, at least better than what it is currently. And all the, the chip companies currently are having a bit of a pullback. I know Warren Buffett uh, recently picked up or added a new position in this sector into his portfolio, the semiconductor, uh, sem uh, Taiwan semiconductor is what he added. I like Intel personally. Uh, is a quarterly payer? I think we mentioned that. The payout ratio is 44.20%, so plenty of room for it to increase its payouts and cover its current dividends. Dividend growth is at 4.89%. And as you can see here, the ex-dividend date was November 4th. It's going to pay out $36 and a fraction of a penny there on December 1st. So that'll be the payout date. So if you wanted to know my payout, you'd just multiply 90 times, you know, 0.365. So I do have a position. I am long Intel. And again, I would pick up more if it did pull back. And I love it at the prices currently. That's why I've been adding to it. Uh, this was one of the stocks I featured on my stocks to buy for the month of November. So I have been doing just that. Well, these are quick hitters, just find, trying to find value in the market as companies pull back. So I will present those to you in this series, the Stock Pick of the Day series. This is actually from this morning, a nice sunrise this morning, a lot of color in the sky. So some ducks or some geese uh, swimming by there. So I thought I'd snap a quick pick to share with you. And again, these are quick hitters. So that is about it for me. Oh, excuse me. As always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Join me on this journey to financial freedom. Hopefully, you are on your own journey as well. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, suggestions for future topics, or constructive criticism. Go ahead and drop it all down below. And this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. This is going to be a short investing week. We'll go up today, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Friday for a half a day. Thursday is Thanksgiving. So happy early holidays to you. I will not be uh, putting out a video on Thanksgiving, but I will put one out tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, and then you'll see my stocks that I purchased for the week on my portfolio update video on Sunday. So again, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever those videos drop. We'll see you in the next one. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion. Investing journey for education and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money. You should never invest in any amount you're not comfortable with. And always doing your own research. Best based in your situation. Circumstances and select criteria. Seek the advice counsel of a certified financial advisor.